no doubt about it, Wilsey. That's old Three Toes, all right. We done caught up with him. This time I aim to get him. If it's me, I just assume we didn't. Ain't you forgetting something, boy? That bear done killed our pappy. Only because you shot him first and he come back hunt for who hurt him. There ain't no way he could have known it was you and not Pa. Don't you reckon that I've thought about that? That's why I gotta kill that bear. That's why I done took an oath to... Hear that? That's old Hummer sounding off. We're gonna get him this time, boy. Come on. <laughs> You hurt? Oh, oh. Twist my ankle. Oh, oh. oh Hummer's got him bait down there. Go on down there. Hey, don't shoot him. That bear belongs to me and I'm duty bound to kill him. Now get on down there. I'll get there as soon as I can make it. Well, go on, boy. Get out of there. Boy, it don't matter. Don't go hunting, Cletus. He's hurt again, and he'll be hunting, too. No matter what you say, Wilsey, I gotta do it. Bear killed my pa, now he's done killed you. It's just like, like I, I killed you myself, and I gotta atone for it. I just gotta kill that bear. somewhere, man. You hear me good. This is the second time you've done this to my kid. So help me, I'm coming after you. I ain't gonna have a minute's peace till I kill you, man. You hear me? in the fall just laying there on the ground with their necks broken, their heads bashed in. Five heads, Jeremiah? Yes, sir. Oh, Ira, give me another drink, will you? What did you get a look at this critter? Yes, sirree. I heard them cattle a bellering, and, and I, I grabbed my rifle, and I went out, and he rears up in the moonlight. I swear he was ten feet tall, and I snapped off a shot, and he went to roaring, and... What'd you do then? Well, I come on over here, 
And I don't mind telling you, I, I run all the way. Do you think you hit him, Jeremiah? I couldn't rightly say. I didn't wait to find out. I just flang away that empty gun and started running. Well, if he's as big as you say he is, I don't see how you could miss him. Is that so? Well, all that roaring and bellering upsets a man. And besides, you know, moonlight no good for close shooting. I don't think much of a man let a wounded bear wander around loose. You don't, huh? Well, listen here, I, Higgins. If you're so all-fired braid, why don't you get out of them fancy duds and go to tracking them yourself? Because I didn't shoot him to begin with. And if I had, I'd have killed him and I'd have stayed there. Now, wait a minute. The chances are that Jeremiah didn't shoot him either. Somebody else must have wounded him before to make him turn killer. Yeah, that's quite right. Bears are not essentially carnivorous. They ain't what? They're not flesh eaters by nature. Generally, they turn rogue because of some wound or injury. But once they turn, they're not at all particular about who or what they kill. Then you mean that this bar could, could be a manhunter? He very well could be. Well, then what are we going to do, Daniel? With the killer bear loose, we ought to bring our families into the stockade until the bear is dead or else he's left this part of the country. And if I were you, Jeremiah, I'd start to dress down those five head of stairs. No use letting all that beef go away. No, sirree, not me. I ain't going out there alone. If that bear gets hungry, I ain't going to volunteer to be his next meal. <laughs> Shall we give him a hand, Mingo? It's all right with me. Ira, right, have you got any bear traps? We might as well set a few while we're at it. Yeah, I've got a couple. You just be a wasting your time, mister. You'll never get old three toes to put his foot in no trap. Not unless you're a sight better trapper than I am. I don't think that you or anybody else is. Well, I've always admired a modest man. What's your name, stranger? Cletus. Cletus Mott. And that yonder's Hummer. The best dang bear dog in the whole 13 colonies. Well, now, you're taking in quite a lot of territory. Well, now, maybe I did misstate it a little bit. What I meant is, he's the best bear dog in the whole world. He's mean enough looking to be. And I suppose you're the best trapper in the whole world. You might say I am. Say, uh, what's your name, friend? Donald Boone. Boone. Boone, seems like I heard about you somewhere or other. Well, maybe you also heard he's a pretty fair hunter and trapper himself. Well, now, right offhand, I don't recollect exactly what it was I did here. However, it looks like he's trapped himself an Indian. I wouldn't exactly say I trapped myself an Indian. He's a friend of mine. His name is Mingo. Howdy, Mingo. Innkeeper, set us up a jug, pull a cork out of it, and throw it away. We're going to settle down to some serious drinking. You mean you're buying? I'm a buying. All you got to do is start pouring. Well, that's very generous of you, Cletus, but we have a little business to attend to. Yeah, I, I overheard you talking. You got to dress out them beeves that old Three Toes went and killed, don't you? Well, now, if you had half the doggone thirst that I've got, well, that meat wouldn't even cool out while we're killing this jug. Well, I reckon I don't quite have the thirst you've got. Well, that's because you ain't traveled as many miles as I have to work it up. This bear, this old three toes you speak of, what makes you think he can't be trapped? Because he's the biggest, the meanest, and the toughest bear in the world, that's why. I had him been trapped one time. At least I had him in long enough to let him get out. That's what happened to his foot. Chewed part of it off getting himself out. You can bet he won't step in another one again. Sounds like you know quite a bit about this bear. Yeah, I know him. I've known him for three years. This time me and old Hummer chased him all the way up here from Tennessee. And I reckon you're the one that made him a killer. Yeah, I reckon you're right. It sure don't give me much peace knowing that he killed my pa and my brother all because I shot him one time. That's a mighty big burden for a man to tote. Well, right now, you're not toting it alone. Ira, spread the news, close the gates, and don't let anyone out until you hear from me. You going after him, Daniel? Well, we can't have him running loose, can we? Now, hold on now, Boone. I've been trying to tell you that bear is my own personal enemy. Well, after what he did to Jeremiah's stairs, he has several more personal enemies. But he killed my pa and he killed my brother. It's got to be him or me. There ain't no other way. Well, come daybreak, you might get your chance. 
Providing he's still not hanging around his kill. Come on. You can stop worrying about that bear. Now that Dan has gone after him. I'm afraid I didn't make myself clear. Boone ain't gonna get that bear. <laughs> if Dale can't get him, that bear can't be got. <laughs> now, where did you say that fella lived that went and lost all them beeves? I don't recollect saying anything. Lives about a, about a mile south. Why? Well, I guess I'll go on out there. Me and old Hummer's got us a bear to hunt. Now, wait a minute. You heard what Daniel said. Now, nobody's to set a foot outside of this stockade without his say-so. Oh, I don't think that applies to me. Well, I reckon it applies to everybody. Now, look, there's a room upstairs where you can sleep, and I won't even charge you for it. Mister, you heard what I said. Old Three Toes is out there waiting somewhere, and me and Hummer's going after him. So now you just move away from that door. Boo! Are you daft? How you put that gun down? You're liable to shoot somebody. Yes, sir, I sure am. I'm apt to shoot anybody that goes to meddling in my affairs or tries to take something that's rightfully mine. Now, you stay put. You hear? Come on, girl. Cletus was telling us the truth about one thing. Part of one foot's missing. The size of that track. Well, three toes. If that much is true, perhaps the rest is, too. Do you think we ought to set out the traps? No, if he's trap-wise, it'd be just a waste of time. I'll take Cletus' word for it. Chances are he's over in those woods now. <laughs> He's got my blood on him, and I ain't ever gonna have a minute's rest till I got his blood on me. Now you leave him alone, Boone. You hear me? I hear you. Well, you mind what you hear, all of you. Now my feud's with old three toes, but if anybody tries to settle it for me, my feud's with them, them and theirs. You understand? Bear! I know you're in there! I'm a challenging you! You come out and fight! Or I'm a coming after you! I'm coming for you, Bear! I'm coming! Come out in the open, Bear! I'm coming after you! The man's obsessed. He's hexed. There's only one thing that's going to cure him. Until then, he's just as dangerous as that bear. You mean he has to settle things with old three toes? If he can. He's lived with that grudge so long. It's his life. He may not be able to stand apart with it. Settlers are taking their families into the stockade until they know it's dead or gone from the country. I've never heard of anything so foolish. One bear and all you great hunters. You know, all you have to do is lock that door and leave me with a loaded rifle. It's not an ordinary bear. I haven't seen him, but I've seen his tracks, and they're twice the size of most Kentucky bears. Well, he could splinter that door with one swipe of his paw if he wanted to, and he might want to. He's a man-hater. He didn't kill Jeremiah Steers because he was hungry. He killed him out of pure hatred. Oh, Dan, you make him sound half human. Well, any animal that's been hunted for a long time gets pretty smart. And we know for sure that he's killed two men already. Well, 
don't you get dressed and I'll wake up Israel. I'm awake, Pa. Get dressed, son. We're going to stockade. And then you're going after that bear? Maybe. Come daylight. Daylight? Well, by morning, he could tear the cabin apart and, and kill all the geese and chickens. I don't think old Free Toes is interested in chickens. But what about my rosebud? I want you to forget about her. She's out in the woods where she belongs, and I don't want to see you bring her in the cabin again. It's for her own good, do you understand? I don't understand you, Dan. If that bear is as dangerous as you say it is, I should think every man in Boonesboro would be out hunting it right now. It's bright moonlight. There is a man hunting him right now. Cletus Mott. And I'd kind of like to give him his chance. <laughs> That Cletus fellow can come back here. And if he'd have killed that bear, he'd be here. Bragging a fellow like him. Well, in that case, Mingo and I'd better get started and trying to pick up the trail. It'll be loud enough by the time we get to Jeremiah's place. Daniel, you mean you're going out hunting that bear after that Cletus took a shot at you for just looking at his tracks? Dan, you didn't tell me about that. No, I didn't, because I figured my friends would take care of it for me. He tried to kill you? Nope, he just fired a warning shot at me. And besides, he was half filled up with Ira's rum. Then why'd he point a gun at me when he was dead sober and said he'd shoot me if I tried to interfere? For the very same reason, I'm just about to do the same thing. Now, Becky, would you take Israel upstairs and try to get some sleep and stop worrying? Stop worrying? Daniel Boone, you tell me the truth right now. Did you bring everybody here to the stockade because of Cletus or because of the bear? Well, uh, to tell you the truth, it was a little bit of both. Well, you see, ma'am, the man ain't quite right in the head. Uh, he threatened to kill not only us, but our families if we was to get his bear. In spite of that, you and Mingo are still going out there? Becky, listen. Cletus has been out there hunting that bear all night. If he's killed him, fine. But if he has, we have to know about it, because that bear is a man-killer. And he's going to hang around here killing and destroying until he's brought down. He'll... he'll get my fawn! It's the man I'm worried about more than the bear. And why aren't all of you going? That wouldn't do, Rebecca. You see, uh, if Cletus saw all of us out there, he might lose control completely. Daniel and I might keep out of sight until we find what the situation is. Yes, that's right. We uh, just want to know what's happening. Say what you please, Daniel Boone. I know you're just itching for a shot at that bear. Well, that might be true, Becky, but I'm hoping Cletus has got him. Of course, it could be the other way around. Cletus could be lying out there right now, bad hurt. Well, what are you waiting for? Israel, bedtime.
Doclitus after him. Yes, it looks as though Cletus was led astray by some of Higgins' rum. Can't help but believe he wanted to be led astray. Yes, the three toes are still alive. Guess it's up to us. you go and do that for? Scaring a man half to death. Thought old three toes had me for sure. Oh. Now, what are you whining about? Ain't your head that's a busted. Oh. Dry as a bone. Looks like some thief went and snuck in here and drank up all my liquor while I was asleep. Suppose you're trying to tell me that you're hungry, huh? If you was any kind of a dog at all, why you'd have had this fire going and coffee on by now. I don't know why I put up with you. You just ain't no help around that doggone camp. shirt on. Yeah, that's old three toes, all right. There's a couple more sets of tracks, both of them wearing moccasins. That'll be Boone and that Indian after my bear. Don't look like they paid the least bit of attention to what I told them. Now they got to jump on me. Dog, we're gonna have to get our pack and get out of here. We got some hunting to do. Come on. feeling that old three toes is keeping better track of us than we are of him. He sure doesn't show any signs of leaving the country. No more than a half a mile from the cabin. It's a good thing you sent Israel and Rebecca to the fort. Yeah. If old Cletus is awake. <laughs> well, if you're on the trail, we'd hear the dog bang. Depends on how warm the trail is. It's not going to get any warmer with us standing here. You ready for a swim? No, but what choice do we have? Was comfortable. There's nothing wrong with the bunk. But have you seen Israel? Israel? No. I thought he slept up there with you. Well, he did, but he's not there now. And he didn't come through here? Oh. No. Well, I just got up. Maybe, maybe he's outside playing with someone. I suppose so. I can't imagine who he'd be playing with at this hour. 
I think I'll just check to make sure. to the stockade. Ain't gonna leave you out here for no bear. Besides, if they wake up before I get back, I'll get licking. got no consideration for your feller man. 10,000 acres of timber for you to shake in and you got to shake all over me. Hey, them cracks have still got puddles in them. They can't be too far ahead of us. Hell, he ain't got old three toes yet and they ain't about to get him either. Come on, dog. You stay close to me and don't you go to barking neither. We'll sneak up on them real easy. something be running like that. Yes, he has. Look at your cabin. Smells of man. What's this old hat doing here? Perhaps the bear tore it off the hook. Israel was wearing this hat when I left him at the stockade. I'm sure of it. Israel! 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 Are you sure he 
was wearing that hat. I bought it only myself. The last time we saw that bear, he was over that way. I well, suppose he dragged Israel into the trees. Hey, Paul! Did you hear that? Israel, where are you? I'm in the root cellar. <laughs> Barry almost got us. He clawed and pawed until he could get in. You were told to stay in the stockade until we knew it was safe. I know, Pa, but I kept thinking about Rosebud. And if I had come, that old bear would have got her. Did you shoot him yet, Pa? No. And he's got a long head start on us again. No, we haven't got him yet, boy. I'm sorry. Well, that's all right. The important thing is that you're still alive. Well, I reckon your ma's half dead with worry. Mingo, I want to go after old Three Toes before that trail goes cold. You mean you want uh, me to take Israel back to Rebecca? I don't suppose there's any use in suggesting that you take Israel and I go after the bear. Nope. No use in suggesting. Well, there's no sense letting Rebecca worry any longer than she has to. Come on, Israel. Just cause we can see them ain't no reason to let them see us. We we'll just stay out of here in the brush till we find out if they're gonna give up that hunt. Well, I just can't think of that that Indian would be taking that boy along on a bear hunt. So we must be gonna take him back to safety someplace. And who's going on after old three tones all by his lonesome? Now that's good. Two of them together sure might have been hard to handle, but with Boone by himself, I just might uh, talk him into leaving my bear alone. Yeah, he's on the track again. Now, wouldn't you think that after he seen what old Tree Toes did to that cabin, that he'd have sense enough to quit? I just reckon that some people's plumb stubborn, though, like me. Hal, sure don't do for two people like us to be after the same critter. We'll keep an eye on it. Come on, boy. Take a look. What was it? Did jug in a dying campfire. Something wrong? That might be, Israel. Come on, we better get you back to that stockade Israel. as quickly as we can. Hey! There's Ma! Hey, Ma! Israel! Oh, Israel. I'll hug you now, but I may take a switch to you when I get you back to the stockade. Where's Dan? Oh, uh, Daniel sent Israel back to the stockade with me, and uh, he went on after the bear. A little earlier on, Daniel and I came upon Cletus back there, fast asleep. He'd finished the jug. We thought he'd be out for hours. He's gone now. Looks as though he and the dog have been trailing us. Then we'd better find Dan and warn him. Mr. Hawkins can take Israel and me back to the stockade. The rest of you go on. I had a feeling that man was more dangerous than the bear. I think I know where to pick up the trail. Let's go.
way he's traveling, that trail must be getting hot. still be asleep. I said lay it down. I couldn't do that. It might go off. I might have to use it to shoot old three toes with. Now, you listen to me, Boone. It's the last time I'm going to warn you. You lay that rifle down and you get out of here. There ain't nobody hunting that bear but me and there ain't nobody going to kill him but me. Now, you listen to me. That bear's close by. He's back trailed on me. It might take both of us to kill him. Now, I'll give you the first shot. Now, you ain't going to give me nothing. I'll take the only shot. I don't believe you can do it, Cletus. If you haven't been able to kill him in three years, it's either because you don't want to or something inside you won't let you. You're a liar, Boone! I'm going to kill that bear! Well, you do it then. He's coming up right behind you. Shoot, Cletus. Cletus, you gonna help me skin him out? Looks like he's too old and too tough to make good eating. What's wrong with you? You can lay that knife down, because you ain't gonna skin this bear. All right, skin him yourself. Oh, that bear don't interest me now. You wouldn't pay me no mind, would you? You had to go and kill him. Of course I did. You wouldn't do it. Why, I was just a-waiting. I was letting him think that he had me. I was just a-tormenting him for killing my pappy and, and my brother. I was going to kill him, but, oh, no, you had to shoot him first. Why don't you be honest with yourself, Cletus? It's all over with. You couldn't do it. Oh, no. It ain't over yet. That bear had the blood of my kin on him, and you killed him. Now you got their blood on you. I'm gonna have to kill you, Boone. It's the only way that I can keep that vow. I'm gonna kill you with that knife. I'm gonna skin you, Boone. <laughs> Traveling too far and too fast or losing blood like that. He's just like old three toes now. Got a bullet in him and he's a heading for the high country hoping he can see us coming. He ain't hit too hard though. He'd be heading downhill instead up just like any other animal. Come on, boy. Get him. Put him up a tree. We can't let him get help now. Get after him. He shot him in the mouth, like the blow at the top of his head off. I reckon he didn't want to spoil a hide or any of the meat. Where'd you get that? Right over here, it's Daniel's gun. Now, what do you make of that? Well, it's Daniel's gun, all right. But what I don't understand is... Higgins! Did you find something? Blood on the leaves. Those two shots we heard before, widely spaced. I, I thought Daniel had fired them both, but I was wrong. Cletus fired the second. Then that's Daniel's blood. That Cletus is hunting him down like an animal. Well, at least he got away. And he's a real hard man to catch up with in the woods. 
if he don't want to get caught up with. Not with a dog trailing him, he isn't. I never should have left him. Oh, you couldn't do nothing else. Point is, what do we do now? We go after him. Cletus isn't going to let him get back to civilization if he can help it. Come on. Hey, boy, Hummer! As long as you're telling me where he's at, why, he don't dare circle back. Just like chasing old three toes. Hit after him, boy! If I don't get rid of you, I won't have a chance. He's trying to get back to his gun. I'll just cut over and run into him head on. Stay with him, Hummer! What are you barking at, anyhow? Why, you doggone stupid dog. You know what you've done? You've been chasing a hide that ain't got no carcass in it. You let him sneak around behind us and head on back and get his gun. We gotta get back there before he does. Come on, boy, let's go. The dog has stopped barking. What does that mean? Either he's lost the trail, or something's happened to Daniel. Sounded like it come from over there. You took Daniel's rifle. Well, sure I did. You didn't think I was going to leave it laying there on the ground, do you? But if he's thrown them off the scent, he'll be looking for it. Oh. You head for where we heard the dog. I'm going back. Two of you are a whole lot alike. You made mighty interesting hunting, but in a minute you're gonna be dead just like him. Can we talk this over, Cletus? I'd hate to die knowing you were gonna hang because of it. Oh, don't you worry about that. They ain't gonna catch me. Now, you won't make a run for it, or am I gonna have to shoot you a sitting? I'm too weak and tuckered out from running. Maybe you'd better come in for me. All right. Here I come. <laughs> Heard me, Cletus. Drop that knife. Hey, 
Ah. I couldn't kill all three toes. I couldn't kill Boone. The only thing I could shoot was my dog. The only friend I had in the whole world. I think he's dead, Cletus. Oh, glory be. I've been forgiven. Lord, if you'll just let old Hummer live, I'll never do another vengeful thing as long as I live. Shall I bring him back, Daniel? Tried to kill you. Well, you only tried. Like you tried to kill old Three Toes. Maybe he's found something else to live for. All packed and ready to go, Daniel. You know that? That green hide, that's too heavy for us to tote. I'll send a horse back to pick it up. Oh, thanks, Higgins. Would have got that old bear skinned out with this gimpy shoulder. Oh, glad to help, Daniel. That's sure gonna make a nice rug for Becky. Well, if you're finished eating, Daniel. Yeah, I'm all through. Come to think of it, I ought to send a horse back for you. You've done enough traveling for one day. And it's all downhill from here. You coming, Jeremiah? Oh, you go on ahead. I'll catch up to you. I still got a little ways to go to finish up here. What are you doing there, anyway? Oh, just sort of carving a little marker so folks will remember this day. If you're doing it for my benefit, you're wasting your time. For the day I'll remember for quite a while. There she is, all finished. Daniel Boone killed a bar. He sure did. Well, how do you like it? Well, the spelling leaves a bit to be desired, but the message is clear. Hmm. What do you say we break camp and head for home? <laughs>